Hey Church, it's really great that you've joined us today on our daily devotions um, as part of our series that we're currently doing on my relationships. My name's Catherine and I'm really looking forward to sharing with you today on the book of Acts chapter 2. Um, as we step into chapter 2, the promised gift of the power of the Holy Spirit has filled the people and it is going wild. The people are being changed and transformed from the inside out that is affecting every decision that they're making, the way that they're living their lives and most importantly who they are doing their lives with. It says this in uh, Acts chapter 2 verse 44, all the believers were together and had everything in common. All the believers, those that were relying and trusting and believing and leaning into Jesus were together, not just tangibly in one place, but they were together, together in harmony, living their lives in unity, laying themselves down and putting others first, which led to purpose that then they had everything in common because they were living their life bigger than themselves. In the current series that we did recently on um, at, um, at the Table, uh, it made me really think and reflect upon my journey of who um, has been at my table, who is at my table and those uh, the, the gifts of those life-giving relationships and how those have come about. And um, as I reflected upon that, I thought, you know, in short, I grew up in a Christian family, thank God, um, but I didn't actually have an encounter with God and get filled with the Holy Spirit until I was 18. And in hindsight, I think a lot of that was due to the fact that um, I didn't have uh, any Christian friends and my mum and dad made a really brave decision when I was 17 to move churches to a church that were, had more young people and with an expectation and a hope and a prayer that I would find friendships that would then uh, lead to encouragement of faith and get planted in the house and meet Jesus and all of that stuff, which thankfully all of that did happen and more. So thank you. Thank you to my parents for making that decision. After I went on a life changing mission and then I heard about an amazing opportunity to go on a year out program similar to our amazing audacious college. Uh, so I signed myself up and I remember at the beginning desperately praying, Lord, please give me friends. <laughs> please, Lord. And uh, it was in this year that God really changed me and touched, touched my life and transformed me from the inside out, which then led to the gift of meeting some amazing people that are still in my life today um, that I'm so thankful for and that are a true gift to my life. God not only provided friendships but long life relationships and it's similar to in Acts 2 where the people are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. And in parallel to my story, that the strength of those relationships modelled, um, that were heart and soul relationships, were formed out of, firstly, their encounter with Jesus. You know, as we are transformed and surrender and pursue Jesus, it starts with us opening up our hearts and lives to him and to others. You know, as Pastor Glynn often says, that we have to walk through the awkward to get to the awesome in relationships. And I'm believing that for you and for me today. Um, and then I think secondly, that those relationships are formed in and through purpose, that as we serve the common cause and build the church and love people and just get on with it and not make it about us, that I know in my life that all my treasured relationships, that are not just friendships, that it's bigger than that, those that iron sharpens iron, that speak into my life, that I treasure more than anything, have been found in, in and through 
purpose and forged and grown. And so Audacious Church today, I'm believing with you and I I am praying with you that if you are in that place where I was of, Lord, give me friends, God will move in and through your life as you put him first and seek him. And I'm believing that. And for other people, I'm believing that there is more space at your table for those life-giving gifts that God will bless your life with. Because the Lord will provide. We love you, church, and we'll see you soon.